8. Mark Mitchell. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My Mark question Mitchell. is to the my question is to the Minister for Communications and Information Technology. How is the government's information and communication technology program improving New Zealand's access to improved technology and better connectivity? Mr. Honourable Speaker. Amy Adams. Mr Speaker, this government's ICT program is about enhancing New Zealand's ability to excel in an increasingly digital world. We're doing this through initiatives like our ultra-fast and rural broadband initiatives, the rollout of 4G cellular spectrum and supporting the growth of the ICT sector. The modern infrastructure network we're delivering will provide businesses and individuals alike with a vibrant, competitive platform for innovation and growth. New Zealand has a highly talented and successful ICT sector and our role is to support them to be innovative and create competitive offerings, not to start from the ideological belief that governments can do everything better than the private sector and should dictate it all. Supplementary, Mr. Supplementary question, Mark Mitchell. Thank you. Are there approaches to ICT policy the government has considered and rejected? Mr. Speaker. Honourable Amy Adams. Mr. Speaker, I can confirm that the government won't be taking advice on the creation of its future ICT initiatives from Kim.com. We won't be supporting a Kiwi tax on the Kiwi Net. We won't be establishing Kiwi Google. We won't be dictating how much bandwidth each Kiwi gets to use. And one thing, one thing we definitely won't be doing is forwarding our draft policies to Labour for them to peer review. <laughs> supplementary, supplementary. Order. Supplementary question, Grant Robertson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. What? Oh, I apologise, Mark Mitchell. I, I apologise. Apology accepted. I apologise. I apologise to both members for such an insulting comment, Mark Mitchell. Apology accepted. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. It, it goes to prove that even I'm human. Mark Mitchell. What recent reports has the Minister seen on potential funding sources for ICT initiatives? Honourable Amy Adams. Mr Speaker, this morning I saw a report in which an internet tax funding option was described by Vodafone Chief Executive Russell Stanners as crazy and outrageous and by Telecom as concerning. Mr Stanners went on to say that those behind it should just go the whole hog and nationalise everything. The funding initiative he referred to, of course, was the KiwiCon internet tax from ICT Supremo Kiwi Karen. <laughs> Supplementary. Order. 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 All members have a right to ask a supplementary question. They certainly do, Mr. Speaker. Order. Order. Supplementary question, Claire Curran. Uh, Order. To the Minister. Order. Order. Grant Robertson, I wonder if um, the Minister of Social Development, who was interjecting, is now continuing to talk, might like to show some leadership for the rest of them order, and make order. them shut up for a minute. Order. 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 I'm giving the supplementary question to Claire Cohen, and I certainly want to hear the question, so I require silence from this side of the House. Claire Cohen. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister. Order. Given the Minister has been in the role for 27 months and hasn't announced anything substantive, when should the ICT sector expect to see any new ideas from her? Order, order. Honourable Amy Adams. Well, uh, Mr Speaker, I certainly reject the allegation in that question, but I can tell the member that when we do announce our ideas, they will be ours and not Mr Dot Com's. Point of order, Chris Hipkins. Mr Speaker, I seek leave to table a briefing from the New Zealand Qualifications Authority sent to Hickey Apparata's office, which was sent to the Labour Party this morning. <laughs> Order, order. Um, I will put the leave. Order. Order, leave is sought to table this particular document. Is there any objection? There is none, it can be tabled. Order. Order. 
Point of order, Chris Hopkins. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I seek leave to table a further briefing from the New Zealand Qualifications Authority to Hekia Parata's office, which was sent to the Labour Party order. last month. Order. Order. <laughs> I'm just going to check. The, is there any further information on the member? <laughs> no, no, that's, that's sufficient. That's enough. I'll put the leave. Leave is sought. Is there any objection? There is none. It will be tabled. Point of order. Point of order, Claire Curran. Uh, Point of order, I seek leave to table an email meant for my office, mistakenly sent from Amy Adams' office to a member of the public. <laughs> I guess we've started on a bit of a pattern here. I've got to put the leave. Leave is sought. Is there any objection? There is none. It can also be tabled. Uh, Chris Farfoy. Thank you. Point of order, Mr. Speaker. Point of order. Well, I, I seek leave. I'm waiting for the point of order. I'm waiting for some quiet, sorry. Well, if the member doesn't want to carry on, we'll I move see, on to the next Does the member yes, wish... Yes, I do. Point of order, Mr then Speaker. Do it. OK. I seek leave to table correspondence from the Department of Corrections to the Dominion Post, which was mistakenly sent to Labor. Leave is sought to the table. That information is... There is objection. Now we move to question number 10. No, no. Uh, nine. Nine. Grant Robertson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Justice. On what date did she receive an invitation to visit?